सो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डिस्कसड द एविडेंस एज फॉर द फिजियोलॉजी एज वेल एज द एम्ब्रियोलॉजी नाउ वी आर गोइंग नेक्स्ट वन दैट इज एविडेंस एज फॉर द एपेलियंटॉलॉजी so here uh, a paleontology what is a paleontology means uh, it is a branch of uh, it is uh, the studying of it is uh, the studying of uh, studying of fossils fossil remains fossil remains uh, studying of fossil remains which uh, which they acts as uh, the a documentary for the an evolutions so these are acts as a, an a documentary of a, an evolution that means uh, here studying of fossil remains which they acts as a, which acts as a, which acts as a, the documentary documents document documents of uh, evolution so such type of we can call them as a uh, such type of branch where we'll studying uh, we can call as a uh, paleontology that means here uh, we are studying a uh, fossils fossil remains that means uh, fossils means uh, these are formed uh, on the earth surface the word fossil the word the word fossil the word fossil is produced from the fossilism fossilism it is produced from the fossilism that means here the meaning of fossilism means dug out dug out or unearthed unearthed so here the word fossil fossil remains that means the word fossil is produced from the the word that is fossilism the meaning of fossilism means uh, it is dug out or unearthed uh, that we can call as a uh, uh, fossils these uh, fossils which are presenting uh, they are presenting on the uh, that means these are presenting in the form of a uh, uh, fossilizations fossilization these are presenting in the form of a fossilization so here what is this a fossilization means the process of formation of fossils and occurs only under ideal conditions that means formation of the process of formation of the process of <coughs> the process of the process of formation of uh, formation of fossils formation of uh, uh, fossils under under suitable under suitable under suitable ideal conditions ideal conditions conditions then it is called as uh, the fossilization so here the fossilization that means these are presenting how these are fossilization is taken place means uh, these are taken place in the form of uh, a sedimentation these are uh, formed of uh, a sedimentation sedimentation here uh, the sedimentation means uh, these are uh, these fossils which are presenting they are uh, dug out they are usually found in the sedimented rocks these are presented in the in the form of sedimentation they are present in the form of uh, the sedimentary the sedimentary rocks where these uh, sedimentary rocks will be presenting in rivers lakes ponds uh, as well as in the lavas or in the oils or 
these uh, sedimentary rocks are presenting in uh, rivers lakes ponds as well as uh, here uh, oil lavas and also they are presenting on the uh, resins that is uh, produced the resins means uh, the gum producing from the uh, plants these are presenting in the form of uh, a sedimentary rocks these are present in the form of various forms uh, that is in rivers ponds lakes that such as uh, in the form of uh, the sedimentation a uh, process here uh, in the sedimentation how the sedimentation is a uh, taken place means uh, here uh, when the bodies are uh, buried here uh, they are uh, decomposed here uh, they are uh, the buried if they are buried means uh, buried they are uh, decomposed they are uh, decomposed if they are not decomposed if not uh, if not uh, decomposed if not uh, decomposed uh, are uh, decomposed uh, what happens these are formed in the form of deposition decomposition uh, where these are enters into the rocks that means these will enters into the uh, rock formations where the plants and uh, animals that are buried that here uh, the rocks are filled with uh, sedimentations so that here uh, a layer by layer that means year by year uh, here uh, it helpful for the formation of uh, the sedimentary layers here it forms uh, the sedimentary it forms uh, the sedimentary layers it forms uh, in the form of uh, sedimentary layers year to year uh, so that here it helpful for the formation of uh, a fossil uh, remains so here uh, one layers are uh, layer layers of layers which are presenting uh, here the oldest layer is the that means uh, what is the bottom layer that means these are presenting in the uh, ponds or lakes or rivers here uh, these will form so when these uh, attend they are becomes layers to layers the oldest uh, is the, that means the the bottom layer the bottom bottom layer is a uh, oldest is a uh, oldest layer and uh, topmost top layer is the the latest latest but uh, topmost is the latest a recent layer so here these are helpful for the formation of fossils where here it shows that the formation of a fossil remains formation is taken place when they are in the form of a sedimentary layers in this layers the oldest bottom bottom of the layer which is presenting is the oldest layer and the topmost layer which is presenting is the latest layer where these are depositing of plants and animals where here it shows the fingerprinting of the plant and animals and showing the ancestral characters of them and organisms where it shows the an evolution in an organisms so here an example if we taken place and uh, an example for this is a uh, taken place is uh, then uh, archaeotrips archaeo archaeotrips archaeotrips is an, uh, an example a uh, best example uh, where it is uh, a fossilizations that is it shows a uh, uh, best example is archaeotrips uh, where here uh, it is uh, introduced by the wegner wegner in 1861 in it is in 1861 he introduced the archaeotrips of a fossilizations where these archaeotrips will shows the both characters of both characters both the characters of the reptile reptiles reptiles and uh, the eaves characters so here uh, the archaeotrips will shows uh, the both characters of uh, the reptiles and eaves and also here it shows uh, a connecting uh, a link also will shows here by means uh, here it showing a uh, uh, two different uh, characters are presenting in only one organism uh, so that uh, here we can call as a connecting uh, 
a link which I have studied in the last class. So here the reptilians and Eos characters are taken place so that here it will show in an example where this is presenting in a Mesozoic era of this period and also these mainly they are present in Jurassic period. These are presenting in a Jurassic period. In the Jurassic period where here it shows the both characters of reptiles and Eos where that is called as a and archaeotrips. Here the reptilian characters means here it consists of a complete set of teeth are presenting, the scales are presenting and the body is look like the lizards. The body is look like a lizards. Here the scales are formations and also the skeleton formation is an exoskeleton formation is taken place. But in Eves characters here the big formation in an Eves here it shows that a big formation is taken place and also here will consist of the <coughs> the four limbs the four limbs which are presenting these are modified into a wings and also here the, they are they are modified into a wings where here the muscles the skeleton is filled with an air also so here the, that means here the bones will consist of a pneumatic bones are presenting so that pneumatic bones will helpful for the avian character so these are the characters where it shows both that is reptilian characters as well as uh, the Eves characters are presenting that are seen only in, uh, in the form of a fossilizations uh, that is uh, archaeotrips. This is an example where we can see in uh, a Jurassic period we can see this type of organisms uh, which is extinct uh, in the form of uh, a fossilized uh, remains. So with the help of these uh, skeleton fossilized remains uh, we can observe or we can know the characters of uh, a reptilian as well as uh, an Eves uh, characters are taken place. Though it is an example where it shows uh, the uh, evidences for the an uh, paleontology that is a uh, fossil remains which where they act as uh, the documents of uh, and evolution. That means with the help of these fossil remains we can know or we can study the organism's characteristic features of an organism of the an organism we can study that is through the uh, paleontology. So here this organism that is archaeotropes will show that uh, an evidences of the an ancestral uh, characters of an organism and also shows uh, a connecting link between uh, the reptilians and uh, and Eos characters also. This is of uh, the evidences of uh, a paleontology. Next, uh, coming to the uh, last one, that is uh, evidences for uh, a natural selection. Evidences for uh, a natural selection. Evidences for a natural selection. So here, natural selection means the nature also will select the species which are presenting in the an environment. That means here the nature will provides the sufficient the facilities for the survival of the an organism. So that we can call as a natural a selection. So here in this natural selection, here it shows that uh, uh, two examples are there. One we can call as uh, the, the moths. First one is uh, the moths. 
Mod. Mods. And the second one is uh, the DDT mosquitoes. That is uh, the DDT mosquitoes. So coming to the uh, first one, uh, that is uh, a moth. So in uh, in uh, industrial, that is uh, in natural selection, before industrial re uh, revolution and after uh, an industrial uh, revolution, uh, we can discuss uh, how these uh, helpful for the, the survival of uh, a species. So that is uh, here uh, before uh, before industrial revolution before uh, industrial industrial evolu revolution before industrial revolution uh, here uh, the pepper moths Pepper red moths, pepper red moths are a 99 percentage are presenting where this pepper moths means the, the moths will consist of a pepper like a, a dots are on the wings, on the wings of the a moths will having a, a pepper like a, a dots are presenting. So they are called as a, a pepper, pepper moths. And another type of moths are present in their mutation, mutated moths. They are a mutated or mutation, muta mutation moths. Mutation moths, they are called as a, the carbonic, the carbonic moths. Here, these are a, a one percentage is presenting. That means before industrial revolution, the pepper moths are a 99 percentage of moths are peppered moths, pepper red moths, and a 1 percentage is consisting of a carbonic moths, where these carbonic moths are having a black winged structures are presenting. Will having in the pepper moths will have pepper moths wings are pepper like structures, a dark that means in a wings a dark like a dot 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 like structures are presenting where they are called as pepper moths, pepper red moths. But in the carbonic moths will having a, totally the wings are a black colored. The totally the wings are a black colored, they are called as a carbonic moths where they are one percentage and they are a mutated moths. So here when these that means before they are very more in a, before industrial evolution the pepper moths are more why means here these are a white right in white in color so that here when they are attached to the plants or predators they are escaped from the predators but here carbonic moths are very less in number why means here their number is gradually decreases why means the predators are easily observed the black colored so that they can be able to eat and that means they act as a prey for the a predators. So that here the carbonic moths are a less in a number. But after industrial evolution, after an industrial, after an industrial revolution, after an industrial revolution, here it shows that the pepper moths, the peppered, pepper red moths, the pepper red moths are a one percentage, they are a one percentage and the carbonic moths, the carbonic, the carbonic moths are a 99 percentage. Why means after industrial revolution, that means after industries are constructed, here a black colored, a black colored smog is produced. Smoke, the black colored smog is produced so that the, the carbonic moths are escaped due to the a car black colored produced on the plants. So here there, these are pepper moths are very white in color, so smog in smog, the carbonic moths are escaped from the predators. But pepper moths are easily observed, easily 
seen by the predators so that what happens these moths are gradually decreases and here increasing of a carbonic moths when these carbonic moths are increased from generation to generation so that here carbonic moths are increased after an industrial revolution is taken place so that is the carbonic moths are selected by the a natural selection that means nature is selected by the carbonic moths after an industrial revolution that is here before industrial after industrial revolution here before industrial paper moths are more their number is increases but after industrial revolution here the carbonic moths are 99 percentage are presenting why means these are the total wings are black in color so that the smog is produced on the plants they are black and they cannot able they cannot appears for the predators so that what happens here they escape the carbonic moths are escaped from the predators and here pepper red moths are a white in color so in smoke the white is more more frequently will produces so that here the pepper moths are gradually decrease their number and where here carbonic moths are increased and here it helpful for increasing that means here survival of carbonic moths are more that means survival for fittest is more chance of the carbonic moths so that these moths are increased from a generation to the a generation which are selected by the a natural selection the nature is selected by the a carbonic moth after an industrial revolution this is an example a best example that takes place by a natural selection so here we can call as a, that is a pepper moths as well as a, the carbonic moths that is an example of a, the natural selection second one if you see in the second one that is uh, taken place by the the mosquitoes with uh, ddt mosquitoes evidences for mosquitoes uh, mosquitoes for uh, mosquitoes for ddt for uh, ddt so here these are also same the mosquitoes they are resistance mosquitoes for ddt that means here two types of uh, the mosquitoes are presenting uh, the resistant mosquitoes uh, resistance mosquitoes mosquitoes of ddt ddt is one uh, percentage before invention of a ddt but here non resistance non resistance the mosquitoes r for ddt is a 99 that is before the ddt not be presenting so here when a ddt is discovered by the paul miller the ddt is discovered by the is discovered by paul miller after world war 2 after here after world war world war 2 so here before world war 2 that means before world war 2 here the non resistance mosquitoes are more in number and but the resistance mosquitoes are very less that is one percentage after after world war 2 here what happens the resistant non resistance the non resistant mosquitoes are gradually decreases and becomes in one ratios that means they are gradually decreases that means after ddt is due to the spraying of ddt here the non resistance mosquitoes are died gradually they decrease died due to the resistance of ddt so the gradually their species are decreases so here the resistance will having capability of resistance of ddt so their number is gradually increases after a world war 2 so that is after world war 2 here the resistant mosquitoes after here if you seen after after world war after world war 2 here 
रेसिस्टेंस द रेसिस्टेंस मस्किटोस द रेसिस्टेंट मस्किटोस आर नाइंटी नाइन परसेंटेज एंड द नॉन रेसिस्टेंस द नॉन रेसिस्टेंस आर नॉन रेसिस्टेंट द मस्किटोस आर the one percentage why means they cannot able to resist the ddt so that they, they, they are died due to the resi- non resistance of the ddt these these are died the mosquitoes are died gradually they decrease in number after world war 2 here resistant mosquitoes are increased why means they can able to resist the ddt so their number is gradually increases and they becomes the survival for fish test in the environment so that species that means resistance mosquitoes uh, species are gradually increase their number and they helpful for they are selected by the natural selection from generation to a generations so these are the a uh, two an examples uh, which are selected by the uh, natural uh, selection that is uh, one is uh, moths that is uh, carbonic pepper moths and second one is uh, uh, mosquitoes that is re- re- resistant mosquitoes as well as a uh, uh, non resistant uh, uh, mosquitoes so that here uh, next one uh, that is uh, an adaptive radiations and also in next class we will discuss uh, the adaptive radiation and uh, <coughs> the modern theory of darwinism that will uh, be discussed in the uh, next class